to the shadows come and why should my heart be lonely long for my head
Hi everyone. When a person has passion around something, they have an amazing ability to accomplish things that could never have happened otherwise. We see that in the sporting world with athletes and the passion that they have to pursue their craft. We also see it in religious leaders throughout history. We, I think of people like Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, maybe even um, Billy Graham that have this ability because of the passion that they have to really make a huge difference in the world. And I think that idea of passion, when it is focused on Jesus' view of how we are to live in the world, that is where it can make the utmost difference. Passion can be directed towards anything. Sometimes it's good, like the things of Christ, and other thing, times passions can, be let, can lead you astray and can be even become very destructive for the person who has the passion and the people who are around that person. And we've, we see that throughout history as well, is that someone has had passion for something and it maybe started out well, but it didn't end quite as well. And that's why when passion is around Jesus' view of how we are to live in his grace and in his love in this world, it can make a huge difference. And I say all of that to say, I know there are some of you who have a lot of passion for Christ. And you're never going to get the headlines of a, of a Mother Teresa or a Martin Luther King but you're still faithfully going about doing your serving, making a difference for Christ. And it may never be seen, it may never even be acknowledged on earth. But I want to assure you that it is not going unnoticed by God. He is watching. He is watching your faithfulness. He is watching your passion and love for Christ be worked out in the world. And so for you that are involved in doing that, I simply want to say thank you. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for letting your love and passion for Christ spill over into your lives and the way you live your lives and the difference you make in the people around you. That's huge. And that's the kind of thing that can change a world, can change a city, can change a church. And so I invite you to continue to live out of your passions for Christ. That your passions would be grounded in Christ, even if they are not of Christ. Because when you are grounded in Christ, those passions are going to have less chance of getting out of control. But for those of you who are serving faithfully out of your great love for Christ, keep it up. Keep it up and know that you will be blessed by God, if not in this life, for sure in the life that is to come. So live out of your passion for Christ, and you can change the world. Lord, thank you that you call us to live fully devoted to you. Lord, help us to do that. Help us to fall more and more in love with you each day. That out of that we might make a difference in this world. In the way we live, in the way we love, in the way we display the grace that we ourselves have received. I ask that, Lord, as we walk through our day. In your name, amen. Well, we have a couple things coming up. We have our community meal, which is our monthly meal, coming up on Thursday. And this is the first time that they're going to have a sit-down meal at Faith since the pandemic. So, and I know there's sign-ups that are available to help out with that. And then in just a little over a week, we're going to have our community barbecue, which is going to be outside. And we're going to invite anyone and everyone to be a part of that as well. We hope that the, the cast before rehearsal from Cinderella would come and join us. 
We are hoping the people from our community, from the neighborhood behind the church, would join us. But we're also hoping that we will be inviting our friends to say, come and have a meal, sit down and enjoy a beautiful evening with us. We're going to have some things for the kids. We're going to have some music. We're going to have some good food as well. And if you'd like to help sign up or clean up or set up with some of that, there's sign-ups available for that. And I want to invite you to take advantage of that because we need that kind of help by all of us. If all of us pitch in a little bit, it makes, the, makes everything easier and lighter for everybody. So I invite you to do that. Those are just a couple things that are coming up. And thank you. Thank you for inviting your friends. Thank you for being a part of Faith Church. God bless everybody. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye now.